Jay, did you see that guy out there? Which one, girl? The one that had on the red jacket? Yes, the one that had on the red jacket. Uh, yeah, I've seen him. <laughs> I gave him an eye to try to smile, but he wasn't really into it, so I just went about my business. He was drunk. I know. Wasted. wasted. Tell me about it. I'm leaving when I get five grand tonight, so I don't know what time that's going to be, girl. Five grand? That's a minute. <laughs> I know. But it's possible awesome. because you know how I do. No, I got plans. <laughs> Okay. I can still plan on these. No, I got tans, girl. What do you want me to do? Girl, I got a date. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be worried about that. Oh, all right, I'm not my business. Uh, I'll probably get one for my son. For your son? Yeah, yeah. son. How old is he? He's about two. Oh, I don't, but I have to get out loud. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Hey, can you come outside to smoke with me? I'm mm, sorry, boo. I'm on at five. here all night or are you gonna come in? I already see what I want out here. Well, I'm not on the clock right now and unless your money is right, you're gonna have to see me in there. Okay, I'll be right back. Make yourself at home. This is not my home. I don't have all night, so let's speed this up so I can get back to work. You are at work. <laughs> this doesn't look like my job, and I don't see a whole bunch of men throwing money at me. Have a seat. You hungry? What you got? Apple? No, thank you. What? You have very beautiful eyes. Thank you. Has anyone ever told you that? <laughs> no, not really. So uh, how much time do I have? Depends on how much money you have. What's your name? BB. BB. That was a nickname my father gave me when I was a kid. And what does that stand for? I don't know what it stands for, and I don't know why he left. Why do you keep asking me so many questions? I only asked you two questions. <laughs> well, ask away, because you got about 15 more minutes, and then I got to go. Can I ask you a personal question? 
How did you get to this point? What point? You're a young, beautiful girl. 17 maybe? 18. How did you get to this point, making a living this way? Long story. Let's just say I've got bills to pay and I don't think we have enough time to go into it. What kind of bills? Well, if you must know, my son needs a surgery. Insurance won't cover it and that means I have to cough up $50,000. There has to be another way. <laughs> Another way. Will you tell me another way and we can get started on it? And where are your parents? Like I said, my dad left when I was a kid and my mom died when I was seven. My grandmother raised me. I'm sorry to hear about that. It's life. I've been taking care of myself and I will continue to do so. I just thank God I don't have to depend on nobody for nothing. You thank God? Yeah. I thank him every day. So you think God is happy with the lifestyle that you're living? What are you, a priest? No. I'm not a priest. He may not be happy with it, but God knows my heart. And he knows that I'm not a bad person. And when I meet him, or if I meet him, he'll see that I've done more good than I've done bad. Well, um, I'm sorry to break the news to you, sweetheart. I'm not a priest, but I do read the Bible. And there's no good thing that you can do to be made right with God. There's a price that had to be paid, and that price has already been paid in full. Hmm. Paid in full. Well, whoever paid it, you can give them my name and number because I think I owe them a date. Since you don't want it. I think you owe more than a date. I think you owe him your life. Okay, you're starting to creep me out. Bibi, we all have things in our past we wish we can erase, but we can't all start over. It doesn't matter what happened in your past, all that matters is where you choose to go from here. I choose to go back to work and make my money. You are worth so much more than this. You are sacred and precious, unique beautiful and extremely valuable to God. No one's ever told you that, huh? No. He desires you to live a pure life, not taking things into your own hands, but trusting in Him. He wants your pain, He wants your burden. He wants to take it and He wants to give you peace. Okay? Well, um, looks like my time is up, and I'm almost out of cash. It's okay. Is it alright if I give you a ride back to work? Um, no, I think I'm just gonna go home. Uh, thanks for the ride, but I don't live too far from here. I can just walk. Okay. Alright, um, give me a second. Let me go use the restroom. Sorry it took so long. Hope I didn't go over time. <laughs> it's okay. You ready? Can I ask you one last question? I promise it'll be the last. Yeah. Do you accept tips? Thank you. Thank you for the talk. It's okay. Be safe.
BB, this check should cover your son's hospital bill. It's my life savings, but if it sets you free from doing what you do to earn money, then it's all worth it. You've shared a lot about your life with me, so I'm going to share some of mine with you, if that's okay. I used to be a very bad man. I did a lot of terrible things in my life. Drugs and alcohol ruined my life. When I turned 30, I found God. Or better yet, God found me. He found me dead, but he gave me life. He gave me a new heart. And now, I'm able to truly love. And he showed me how to forgive all those who wronged me. And how to make amends with all those who I've wronged. When I was 16 years old, I got my girlfriend pregnant. I asked her to take care of it, but she didn't. And I wasn't too happy with that. So I stuck around for about two years. And when I couldn't take it anymore, I left her. A few years later, she overdosed on heroin and died. Ten years later, my eyes were opened. God showed me how much he truly loved me. And that he was a father that would never leave me. So from that day on, I decided that I would find my own daughter, no matter how long it took. And by the way, your nickname, BB, it stands for Bumblebee. I gave you that name when you were two, because you would always bounce all over the place. You always would like to play with the bubbles, and loved when I chased you around. The playground was your favorite place to go. We would spend the whole day there, and now, I'm hurting. I feel like I made a terrible mistake. And my prayer to my new father is that my daughter can find it in her heart to forgive her father for what he's done and give him another chance. I love you, daddy.